everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to my dress collection. Merry Thriftmas, everyone. It's December 1st, and that means that for the entirety of this month, I'm going to be thrifting, I will be selling stuff on Depop, which is the purpose of today's video, where I'm going to be taking all of my dresses here and culling them very heavily. Now, the, the issue is that I can't cull heavily myself. I'm just too attached to too many things. I'm going to be calling in my friend Caitlin, who's going to help me, uh, it's me, choose what I'm going to keep and what I am going to yeet. And by yeet, I mean upload on Depop. Before we dive into this clear out, let me give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. Obviously, there are four racks of dresses behind me, which is far more than anyone needs. Uh, and I wouldn't have any of this, quite literally any of it, I wouldn't have any of this if I didn't make fashion content on YouTube. I also wouldn't have kept so many of these pieces if it weren't for the lockdowns that we've been in and out of over the past two years. At the start of 2020, I hosted a charity event and I sold a bunch of the clothes that I had accumulated in the time that I'd been making fashion hauls on YouTube. We raised $20,000 or so from the sale of those pieces and I thought, you know what, I'm onto a really good thing here. If I do something like this once a year, I can hang on to the things that I get sent by sponsors. I'll do a, a yearly charity event, pick a different charity every year. People can come, they can meet me, they can buy my clothes, things like that. That was the plan. Uh, obviously things didn't happen that way, which means I have accumulated a lot more than I would like to have ended up with by this point. I haven't been able to host my charity event, haven't been able to sell any of this stuff yet. So that's where Depop comes along. I did a sponsorship with Depop last month and uh, here we are. That's an explanation as to why there is so much here. Please understand uh, if it weren't for what I do and the fact that I earn ad revenue, I make you know, affiliate money, I get sent things for free all the time by sponsors. I wouldn't have this much stuff. It's not normal. I'm really, really looking forward to culling this down to a selection of clothes that I truly really, really love and get a lot of wear out of. Get the rest of it out of here, get it sold to you guys, we'll raise some money for charity. And then I can go into Thriftmas this year with a nice, fresh, clean palette. And I'm going to be trying to tailor my wardrobe from this point onwards. I'm gonna try and refine it more. I want to be wearing more vintage clothing. I want to be wearing more unique special finds, things that are made really well. I'm going to be paying more attention to the fabrics that I use because in the past I was like, oh yeah, acrylic, polyester, nylon, rayon. I don't know what any of that means. But these days I'm finding a, a much greater appreciation for things like silk and cotton and linen and cashmere, you know, whatever else. I don't know anything else. Sorry, um, but Caitlin knows a lot. <laughs> Caitlin did textiles at school. And yeah, she... high school textile. I'm truly an expert. She's just gonna wear like, you know, a sweatshirt and tracksuits most of the time. Like this is beautiful, right? If you're gonna color your like clothing down to exactly what you're gonna wear, she's just gonna be wearing like, you know, comfort wear. You know? Yeah, you know what? She's got a point there. If I only cull my wardrobe to yeah. things that I wear, it will be Daniel's t-shirts and loungewear. So no, realistically, I'm gonna be keeping <laughs> It disappears into the darkness. Realistically, I'm going to be keeping things that truly bring me joy and not something that's going to be like, oh, I, I love it. I swear I'll wear it one day when I win a Grammy or something, <laughs> who knows. And with that, it's enough talking. I think what we should do is get Caitlin to come on in. Okay. I'm very interested to have you be the first person to have a little look at the racks behind me. If you, Treat this like the pretty pastel the store and you're just coming in for a bit of a browse. Yep. Just have a little look at the things and tell me what you like the look of. And this and... is with the assumption that I wouldn't immediately leave after I have <laughs> it, right? Yes. Yeah. Do it. Tell me what you think. You like all of it, don't you? I mean, I'll tell you what I think. I don't know if I like all of it though. That's all right. That's fine. I mean, like what you're wearing right now is like a tea cozy cover. Honestly. Like, I mean, you should probably really love it. I do. But I mean, this part here is like old Western, you know, American woman. Dolores. <laughs> no, no, she had more style than that. <laughs> <laughs> like that costume department actually knew what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I feel like I have to have a disclaimer of, this is my own personal opinion. You can have opinions. Um, I'm just saying mine and, and I'm sorry. In advance. Yeah, in advance. Because it's not going to be nice. That's I fine. don't think I'd keep anything here. I think there's like anything. three. I think there's like three things I'd keep. And the rest of it, I would. That's, I mean, yeah, 
this is not my style. That's, that's why most of it. Like, for example, okay. Awful. This is kind of cute though, this looks nice. Bad, bad. What do you mean bad? bad? In what way? My mum would wear this. <laughs> She's 65. <laughs> turtleneck, turtleneck. Yes. Um, picnic cover? That's not too bad. This is the worst thing I've ever seen you buy. No! Yes. No! It's this is like a haunted doll in a Victorian house. This is awful. This is like she's been dead for 20 years. <laughs> he agrees with me. <laughs> Look at the buttons on this. Bad. But that's Alana Hill. Bad. Bad. School girl. There's a reason why no one buys these at the thrift shops, right? Hang on, I bought that at a thrift shop. Yeah, there's a reason why no one buys them. Oh, but I shop. bought it. Why? So someone bought it. You're like the outlier. <laughs> this was in a cottagecore video yes. that I edited yes. while Alex was drunk off her face. Well, <laughs> not, no, she was on her face, but she was a bit tipsy. Uh -huh. I cut out, to my now regret, she spent like 10 minutes, right? Going, this is embroidered and it's green and then it's blue and then it's yellow and then it's yellow and then it's red and then it's green. This went on for far too long. Really? Yes, I have you no definitely did. That. Like, I mean, I mean, these are pretty. They're cute, they deserve some time. Not 10 minutes of just going <laughs> yellow, red. It was just a game. It was like you're in kindergarten learning what colors were. I, I mean, sorry, I love you. <laughs> God, no. <sighs> this one's nice. I like that one, that one's nice. Uh, so does everyone else. I wore that in a recent video and everyone was like, where is it from? <laughs> this is a bit too much going on, but the neckline's nice. Vile, vile. Wedding dress that no one should buy. Wedding no. dress? That's not a wedding dress. That's the... <laughs> it's a little Bo Peep dress. No. Mm. No. Wow. How do, you, how do you even wear that? No, it's heavy though. This one's nice, but I only like it because of the color. Oh, well, we have Take approval from Caitlin for one single item. <laughs> it's green. I have to also point out, I don't like flowery stuff like this. No. It's do you like much. florals? But you like boo. Boo is fine, floral is not. I mean, say that to yourself again and you'll understand why it's yeah. different there. Like most of these things are, like they're copies, you know? Like they're basic, like they're really, really basic. But they're like, well, almost, what am I saying here? It's like, what are you saying here, Caitlin? It's like, they're all the same dress, but they all have very, very different material. It's like, they're really basic silhouettes and then the material is the thing that's meant to make them exciting, but that just kind of points out more that they're even less exciting than they're trying to be. She's got a point, you know. I like silhouettes, that's my big thing. I like, my favorite dress is something that is plain colored, but is just very interesting to wear. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. We'll see, I, I again, vaguely looked at these. The expensive aisle is what I like, and unfortunately it's the expensive aisle, so. Yeah, it says a lot though. <laughs> I mean, it does say a lot, but it also makes me go, oh, my wallet. Ah! You don't have to look at everything. I shouldn't be looking at everything, but I have to look at everything. But this one feels like your hair. <laughs> Stop it! That's enough from you! Can I get one good one and one bad one? Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Can I get two bad ones? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> what were you thinking? wear a black turtleneck under it and black stockings and black boots. Have you? No, but I will. I don't even have to look at these to find my next choice. No, you're, no, you don't have a pro, do you really have a I have a primary school uniform that is just like this. Yeah, it's a, I got it in Harajuku. Like that's the whole Japanese aesthetic is like school uniform. Are we in Harajuku right now? <laughs> <laughs> if you wore this down to your local Woolies, right? What are people gonna think? They're not gonna think, oh, she's, she's... a Harajuku girl. Oh, they no, they're gonna think, baby, look at that. Hurry up and come and save me. Look at that full adult All woman riches, in her daughter's primary anything. school outfit. And now the only one I really like. Oh, so this one. Is... You like, so I'm seeing a theme develop here between the things that you found it's acceptable. It's a slit too. So she likes the slit in the leg. You said that about the brown one. I did. You liked the green one because it was a solid color with a nice silhouette. He agrees. It was We're green. <laughs> and why do you like this? Uh, I like the slit. I like the poof because it means that when I move, it moves. It's very heavy. It's very good. It's nice material. The silhouette's interesting, like little um, 
baby doll. It's a baby doll, heart shape. I'm not quite sure what the Sweetheart? Is. Sweetheart might be it. But also, I know what my wardrobe is, and I know there isn't anything like this in my wardrobe. Okay, so that's why you like it, because you have nothing like it? So this? shouldn't you like everything then? <laughs> That logic doesn't work. It stands up, Caitlin. I think we've heard enough from you. <laughs> what is this, by the way? This is from House of CB. It's like a $220 dress. So of course you like it. I mean, I was looking at shoes the other day that were like 450. Could I wear both of these together? That would you be, could wear that, that with would some be amazing. enormous wolf boots. Why the f not? I would love that. <laughs> and this is actually proof that I probably shouldn't be the person here, you know, categorizing her fashion. <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, well, I love with that. This. I want to keep this. Well, I can't keep this. Well, d you know what? I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Caitlin, the deliberator. Hello. <laughs> I've got my keep rack. I've got my yeet rack. And by yeet, I mean donate. All right, well, you singled this one out right at the start. You said you hate it. Yeah. I thrifted this as part of Thriftmas last year. Feels like cardboard. I think that this can be a yeet. You're keeping, oh yeah, good, good. Uh, I thought you were keeping it. I'm I've like, oh my it. God. I've never worn it. This, I've had this for ages. Sunday's the label. Sunday's the label. I don't even think that they still exist. It was like a small Australian brand and they made really, really nice things. I just think that they never really took off. I really like it and I love long sleeve dresses. That's a maybe for me. I love the silhouette of this. I, oh, it's so nice. But again, Sunday's the label, really nicely made. But again, I'm not certain. Um, yes style. I like these sort of ribbed dresses, but I think probably don't need that one because I've hardly worn it. Oh, white fox, I loved this. This is definitely a keep. Look at you, you're going, <laughs> Feel free to speak up if at any point you wish to interrupt no, me. I had my moment of talking and then you started limiting me, so we'll, we'll see. You had your moment of talking. I had my right? moment. And you said your 60-year-old mother would wear this. Yeah. Princess Polly would Actually, be she's 59. I'm so sorry, Mum. <laughs> I, I got this as like a cocktail outfit. So I was like, little black dress, wear it out for the night. I've worn this a lot. I really like this. I know you don't. Just work off the assumption that everything was given to me for free or I bought it for the sake of a YouTube video. I will identify the things that I've purchased outside of YouTube. They're not for content, not for anything, nothing so far. Oh, actually, funny, the ones that I said maybe to. These are things that I got before my YouTube days. This has nothing to do with YouTube. Ooh, you've had them for a while. I've had them for a long time, 2014, 15. They've lived through so much. They have. This, I don't remember where this came from. I really like it. Cause I like turtleneck dresses, but I've hardly worn this. Yes style. This is the same type of dress as that one turtleneck dress, which I love again, but the color, I'm just not inclined to wear something. That is so that far, color. I'm very pleased with your yeats. I'm keeping this. I got this in the early days. This is a misguided. I bought it and I wore it to Japan on the trip when Dan and I got engaged. And here, please appreciate some pictures of me wearing this and uh, during cherry blossom season in Japan, the trip that Dan proposed to me on. So I really, you're pulling a face. I'll let you keep that one. This, this was given to me by Kitten Damour. Is that how you say it? Kitten Damour, I have done. Kitten like, Damour. Yeah. When I did my bushfire charity event last year, they, a, a bunch of brands got on board and sent me things for free to sell at the charity event to raise money. And they sent me this and I wore this in all of the pictures with my subscribers. You're and well known enough to get stuff from Kitten Damour, dang. Dang, girl. <laughs> yes, it will. Wow. This is very sentimental to me because that was my very first ever event. Uh, it's got pockets, Caitlin. Oh, I know, I saw those. So, uh, this one can stay for now. Our Shein dresses, what have you done with yours? I wrote once for a photo. I, I remember, it was yeah. a beautiful photo. It's a nice photo. It's a nice dress. Where am I gonna wear it? We could wear it to Korean barbecue. I'm gonna put this in the get rid of pile, but before we get rid of it, you and I have to go do something, take pictures or something in our matching dresses. Right. We have to. You hate it, this. I love this. I yeah. love it. Get rid yes. of your Japanese yes horror ghost dress. Alana Hill, I thrifted this last year. I actually haven't worn it yet. Not because I don't want it, but because it's such hot material. And Australia is such a hot country. You have to wait for like the dead of winter to wear it. And we were in lockdown throughout the entirety of winter. I did not leave the house between June and October. So I missed all of winter. So this lives to see another year because hopefully 2022 winter, I'll be out and about wearing this. I don't like Alana Hill. You 
adore them. You don't like Alana Hill? I don't like oh, Alana no. Hill. The problem I'm thinking about here is that Kayla and I are doing a video together <laughs> during Thriftmas where we're thrifting clothes for each other. Yes. I thrifted some Alana Hill pieces for you. If so, they're nice, I'll let them go. If they're not nice, I'll be very blunt about I mean, that. I would argue that's nice, but you would not. Have you seen the buttons? Girl, the, the buttons. buttons have diamantes on them! Horrible. <laughs> this is amazing. School girl outfit. Yes style. <laughs> Very good quality, really nice. Like, yes, style is hit or miss, that's a hit. Just Do you, like you this keeping one. that? Yes, oh of course I'm keeping it. And I'm keeping this one too, to your I'll, dismay. I'll let you keep that one. That one looks like a costume. It does, right? Yeah. I'm keeping this. I've kept <laughs> this. I've just been waiting to get it tailored because it's a size too big for me. So I need to get it tailored. And once I get it tailored, I will wear it when Chanel invites me to a fashion show see, at I Melbourne that, Fashion Week. I see that and think Cluedo Mystery Murder Party. That's the only time you'd ever be able to wear it. It was pretty pastel in the kitchen with the knife. Oh, this. I used to wear this out for cocktails. I wore this to work a lot. I would wear it out for cocktails and drinks. I love it so much, but I haven't worn it lately, obviously, because because I get sent so much stuff and there's so many other things that I like. And you don't ever go outside. And I never leave the house. So someone else can love this as much as I love it because I, <clears throat> I adore it. This is so pretty. This is cottage core. This, Lucy didn't want it. I kept it because I thought it was really sweet, but mm. also someone else will really, really like this. It is like, very sweet. I have enough dresses. This one is really cute because it's actually got different colored hearts what on it. What kind of colors so, are they, Alex? Well, there's, there's red and the red yeah. actually goes to green and then to blue. And then this one is blue to pink to yellow. And then this one is green and yellow. And then this one is gold mm. and green and blue. I'm keeping it. This one, I really like this, but also because it's very pale and I'm a very pale person, mm. I do look a little bit Victorian ghost when I wear these sorts of things. I, I really like this though. There's another yes style one that I thought was a really good find. She is quite sweet. This, I wasn't that impressed with Yes Style. This is Faithful the brand. This should be on the expensive rack because this was- I hate that one really, really. I really You know what that. this reminds me of? Look um, at the fabric, girl. My mom has a picture of- it's Straight uh, from the 80s. Someone babysitting me in the yeah. 90s. I was a yeah. baby and the lady was wearing something just like All this. All that's missing is some shoulder pads. I love it. This, oh my God, everyone was asking me about this. This is Yes Style. It's a two piece. It's like a cardigan yeah. and a dress and it gives me real elven vibes and it's another yes style one. Actually, the majority of the things on here are yes style. That's yes style. That is not as impressive as a lot of the others. Like it's not very good quality. That one, Daisy. I really like Daisy, the brand. It's so cute. It's, you <laughs> it's got pearls on it, girl. Yes style. I wore this to the wedding in that cottage core video. I'm gonna sell that one because when I was looking back at videos and stuff of myself at the wedding, I was like, it doesn't suit my figure at all. This that you said was a wedding dress. Yeah, more, you know, ghost clothing. Someone can wear it to their own wedding. Daisy, I haven't worn this one yet, again, because I've been locked down, haven't been able to leave. Mm -hmm. But coming into summer, I will wear this sort of thing. And funny, this popped up at the Salvo's online store in your size, and I had it in my cart to buy it for you. And then it sold out before I got to pay for it. Good. 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 Well, I, I would have bought it for you as part of our like <laughs> style swap challenge. <laughs> this one, I thrifted this thriftmas last year. Why does it have buttons on the sleeves? This is a vintage dress. Yes, buttons on the sleeves, little pearl buttons and buttons up here too. I haven't worn it because it's so sheer and I don't have any petticoats or anything that are appropriate for this. So I need to find some appropriate- like a slip or something to go underneath slip. it. Yeah. yeah, that's staying because I'm really interested in building out a wardrobe of like vintage pieces and that's vintage, so. This I mean, vintage doesn't mean, you know, good. You can't get rid of things sometimes. This, I love this. This is from our Shein video together. Did you keep your one? I still have it. You liked it, didn't you? You all, everyone said you looked amazing in it. I just look amazing. You do? Yeah. I think this was an ASOS video. This is Faithful, the brand. No, the iconic. Please get rid of it. Get rid of it? Please. I was about to say how much I love it. No, please. No, ah. no, I love it. Yes style. This is Chew. I think it's Chew, the brand. I've worn this a couple of times and I really like it, but because I've kept so many other heinous floral dresses. I mean, it's good that you can admit it. I understand my flaws and I accept them. This is my, f probably one of my like top 10 dresses that I own from my White Fox video. And I said that it made me feel like the princess from Atlantis. Mm. I don't, I can't imagine how you'd wear it. And this one, this sage dress from White Fox, People told me that I looked really nice in this during this video. They were like, Alex, you look amazing in that sage dress. And I didn't feel amazing 
in it. So I'm not going to keep that one. It's really, it's so nice. The quality is amazing. And because I'm selling this stuff for charity, I'll be able to sell it for a lot less than it would have cost. I didn't pay for this. Like it was given to me for free. So I can sell it relatively cheap. So someone can have a beautiful brand new white fox dress for a good price. Thrifted this Thriftmas last year. I've worn this a lot. I'm going to probably let it go because I've got so much else and I've got Thriftmas coming up now. New things will be entering. Should just wardrobe. buy another one of it later. You know what? If I went into a thrift store, Thriftmas 2021, and I found this on a rack, I would buy it again. Yeah. I love it. This is Keepsake the label. I love it. It's so nice. And it was how, how ironic called Keepsake. Keep. And we're getting rid of it. Is that a sign from the universe? Keep no, no, no. Get rid of it. If you want to get rid of it, get rid See, of this it. is why I need you here. Yeah. <laughs> believe you didn't like this i don't it's sparkly black velvet this is from yes style mm. i love this this i wore this out to tetsuya's which is like a very fancy restaurant here like really fancy restaurant and i wore that and i felt at home i felt fancy this one thriftmas last year i'm gonna let that go although it's kind of y2k kind of alex? it's made in australia alex yes style I hate this. This is a good example of Yes Style is hit or miss because a bunch of these things here are from Yes Style and I love them. This is awful. The fabric is so bad. I got this as part of a Yes Style haul video and I never filmed that video because I was so unhappy with so many of the things that can go. This, ugh, I thrifted this last year and I wore this to an event in this video where I got my hair bleached platinum blonde and we went out to a work function and I wore this. Pe people at uh, Dan's work said to him, your wife looked like a movie star. That's I kind of want you to keep that one. Really? Look how boring it is. Of course I love it. <laughs> uh, I've worn this a couple of times out to restaurants. It's really lovely. It's also very dangerous because the neckline comes all the way like down to here. And because it is so dangerous and I have nothing up here to hold it in place, it can go. My, one of my favorite dresses from YesStyle ever 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 there's some brands Excellent. on yes style that are really really good and that's from one of the really good brands Excellent. this is also yes style this feels how does this feel to you Ooh. yeah it doesn't oh. it doesn't feel great i really like what it looks like i've worn it a lot and i really thought it was so adorable but it just doesn't feel great mm. and i'm trying to keep things that feel it really looks nice. like a picnic like blanket and it feels like a picnic blanket it does yeah all right thrifted you and i when we went thrift shopping this was part ah. of this is part of a video that caitlin and i are Literally. still in the process of filming so this can stay eight dollars from lifeline and i love it it's so beautiful this 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 look it wants to come with you. Oh, funny that that's the one that fell on the floor. That, I, got a, mm. I have a lot to say about that. A mm. lot. This one, got this as part of an ASOS pastel video because it was so cool and I love it. I've never worn it because I don't really host children's birthday parties. So I'll probably sell that one. By the way, the things that are on the no rack I'm not going to list everything on Depop. I do not have the manpower <laughs> to take pictures, do a listing, post every single thing. A lot of them, I'm going to, there'll be some things that are really good things that I'll sell on Depop. Other things I'll just flat out donate mm. them. I'll let my friends pick through it first and then I'll just donate. Yeah, if you want to look like a cake topper, there you go. There's cake your opportunity. Topper. Cake topper. Not even like a good cake topper, like a ballerina girls party cake topper. Yeah, which we would not have liked when we were young because yeah. we were like, put a Pikachu on the cake. This, this was thrifted. That feels horrible. Well, it it's, doesn't feel horrible. Yes, it does. It no. feels like static. It feels like how bad things sound. <laughs> I really like it, and it's a vintage. It's made in Australia. Yeah, bring, 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 come on. I know you don't. It's it's like a like a scuba no, kind you, of. You 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 quiet for two seconds. You hear that? Vile. This is from my cider store trial haul, and I love it. It's a copy of House of Sunny, essentially, and I can't afford House of Sunny, so I'm going to keep the cider one. Are we not going to talk about the one that fell on the ground? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, come on. so the one that's on the ground is. Awful. Uh, it's from the same <laughs> video that never happened where this one was part of that and then this one. The picture, amazing. The picture on the website, I was like, she looks like a magical, whimsical pastel fairy. And it turned up, it, okay, so it's got this rainbow shiny layer, which in the pictures looked like silky and lovely and smooth in real life. Oh, you just make me so Yeah, it's like awful. Listen, can you? Oh, I'm like getting stuck to it. It's you like, get stuck to it. It's like when you spill honey on your hands and you try to get it off yes! and it just won't come off. That's it. Yeah. That, 
that's exactly it. And then, so it's got the, the honey layer, and then it's got, you're gonna love this. Mm. Feel that. How, oh. well, how do you describe mm. that? It feels like um, I'm gonna be sweating. It's, it just sweating? feels like I will sweat. It, to me, it's yeah. like what, what a raincoat would be made out of. Yeah. It's like a plasticky. The like whole, a cheap raincoat, not a good raincoat. The whole thing is just awful. It, it's got to go. I mean, if you guys want me to put this on Depop, tell me in the comments below, because I feel like that one's just got to flat out. It'll make for a cute photo. That's about it. Someone with boobs, please buy this. <laughs> oh, this. Yes, style. A lovely velvety dress that's got lace up at the back, and it came with a little pink turtleneck underneath it. I wore this a lot in like 2019 or whatever year it was that I got this. I wore it heaps in that year, and I haven't really worn it very much since. Thrifted this in Japan. I yes. can tell it looks like the sibling of the dress you're wearing right now. Oh, it does too. Also thrifted in Japan. Um, I wore this in my BTS BT21 tour of Koreatown in Japan video and lots of people really really liked it. I think I should sell this one on Depop because so many people liked it and someone's going to love it. I, I don't wear it anymore. White Fox uh -huh. sent me this and it's funny because it was supposed to be a dress like this. It was supposed to be this length but it was out of stock so they sent me the the shorter version. I'm not going to wear it. From my side of video, this looks really awkward on me. Brand new with tags, that's going to be a good one to sell. Um, <laughs> this, the year that I got this, this is from Yes Style. The year that I got it, I lived in it. I used to wear it with like white turtlenecks underneath. I'm I would... glad I didn't know that you. What are you talking about? <laughs> you've known me every year. Every year that I can remember. For, for a year, me. I forgot about you. That, that's the year. Is this the year? That's is it? the year. I've kept this in very good condition, despite how much I've worn it. I've kept it in good condition. So someone's going to really, really love that. This is from Kukai or Kukai. I, Kukai? Kukai? It's a controversial Australian brand that makes really amazing, good quality clothing, but they are not size inclusive in any way whatsoever. In any way, shape or form. They're like, oh, you're bigger than an American size too? Mm, sweetie. Mm. And there's like terrible reviews on their websites where like people that are size 10, size 12, size 16 come in and they're like, sorry, hon, there's nothing for you here. People are like, my daughter left crying. Uh, there's, I literally read a review that was like, my, da my daughter developed you know, the bad, stuff. bad stuff after she had an experience at Kukai where the staff apparently surrounded her and looked her up and down and they were like, mm -mm, no, they don't deserve your daughter. So Screw I them. will never buy anything from this brand new ever because I don't want to support them. But I got this on the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> so because they make really nice quality clothing, it's the sort of thing where to me, I'm like, I'll get it secondhand. I'm not giving them my money, but also it's not identifiable as Kukai. Like it's not like it's got it written on it or anything. So if people are like, I really like your dress, where's it from? I'll just say it's thrifted <laughs> like that. So I feel like I'm not supporting them, you know. This is AliExpress. I was super into the, the whole, what would you even call this? Like a monster. <laughs> There's a girl. It's got lace, do you know, daisies, Vi and it's. Oh. Violet Verdandy? She's very small and petite and she wears like little kind of clothing. I saw her wearing this and I was like, I have to get it. I do not have her body shape. She's four foot nothing. She's amazing and like this sort of thing suits her. And on me, I was like, I look like. I don't, I don't need. The, I can't say what I would say because then I get demonetized. Thrifted this in Harajuku. Uh, this is the brand Harry Potter. Axes Femme. So Axes Femme is in the La Forêt building, I think Shibuya 109, like big popular shopping destinations in Japan. Got this in a secondhand store. I love it and I know lots and lots and lots of people love it because when I thrifted it and people saw it in that video, they were like, that's the most incredible dress ever. I should list this one on Depop for sure. This one, the Cider Store 13 going on 30 dress. Suddenly 30. You know what, apparently, uh, it goes by both names. I thought it was one of those, oh. like, you know, the Berenstein Bear situation where it's like people remember it one way, but it was actually another. No, no, it was the different name that it was released under in Australia versus America. I like the idea of keeping this for a costume or something, but I wasn't as excited about this as, like, my subscribers requested that I review this. And I wasn't as excited about this as my subscribers were. To so. be fair, uh, that dress is about being confident. Like the movie is literally like, well, that's what I mean. It's like me, <laughs> I am beautiful. In the movie, she's like, I've always wanted to wear this dress and she wears it. And you, everyone in the movie's like, that dress, I don't know, girl. But then because she's like living it up, living, living it up in that city. dress. This is from a White Fox video and I haven't worn it out in public yet. And I love wear it. it. What, wear it? Yeah. Should I? Yeah. I'll put it on now then. Should I? Do okay. it, okay. do it, do it, do ah. it. 
Yeah, true, we haven't tried anything on yet, so. I kind of wanted you to try the White Fox one because I didn't know how you'd fit into it. You know what, Caitlin? We're friends here. Oh, I didn't mean, oh, actually, yes. Isn't that I didn't, that... I didn't mean that one, Which but one wear that mean? one, wear it. I meant the blue one that was like twist tied. Right, I'll try all of them. You've convinced me. The only reason I'm trying this is because we are such good friends. I don't mind if we have a bit of a slip and you see something. You're right. <laughs> no, seriously, if I, if I breathe too hard, we're like seconds, top 10 videos, seconds from disaster. The girl in the pictures, because she's got something going on up here, she looks great. My subscribers Ooh, pictures. How stretchy is it? How stretchy? Yeah, how stretchy is it? Oh, I was gonna be like, I could, try, want... I could try and wear it. We'll see if it fits. I don't know if it's gonna fit though. Do it, do it. Hang on, I'm gonna change into this one and then you change into this. Yes, you have boobs, I forgot. <laughs> you never <laughs> show them. Oh my God. They're always hidden. They're all, I don't, I don't remember the last time I saw your cleavage. Okay. See, Here. that's cute. I like that. You put this on. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. I might excited. not be able to fit in it. It's not just Show me your titties. But it's super stretchy. This is like an eight, right? I'm a 16. It's super stretchy. How come I keep getting naked in your house? Redhead's gone wild. I can't wait to go back to having my red hair. And then you and I can do like redhead try on hauls. Get a few extra views yeah, from people just, that just kinks. are That's outside of our usual demographic. <laughs> this was not designed for me. You know, actually it, it was. Not the size, the size. No, not the size, size but the me. style. Using describey words, nope. <laughs> so put the, put the strap. Where is the strap, like the string meant to be? The, 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 the string? string. Uh, the it string? goes over your neck. Like, oh. uh, uh, like there's a string that should go in between your boobs. Do the boobs go below that or above that? Uh, boobs above? Uh, I think it's meant to go above. <laughs> You're asking me, I don't have any. I'm like, I'm so ready. I haven't been this excited about something in months. Oops. Oh! <laughs> They're not meant to be like Look that. Look at you! If it was in your size, let your hair down. Oh god, yeah, I can hide my boobs that way. Oh, look at you! Oh my god, oh. you look like a goddess! I don't feel like a goddess. Kayla! Yes? I'm getting a hot flush, I'm straight. I'm also very, I'm, very hot right now. I was straight. Wow. Do hide you, my boobs in my hair. Do you want it? Do you want to take it? No, I do not. Are you sure? It's uh, very uncomfortable. You Come sit. Come no, sit. No, I'll break it. What do you know? You won't. You look so my good. Boobs. You know, so this is typically, this is a Australian size 8 and you're an Australian size 16? Yeah. like a and, it, and you're, But you're in it. Like it's, it's very stretchy. But oh my, my god. My look. boobs are facing two different directions. You look so fucking incredible. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Have you seen yourself? No. Oh my god! Wait, uh, where's your phone? Wait, no, <laughs> what? Uh, do wait. I want to see myself? You do. <gasps> wait. No, uh, look, I don't know how to be sexy, by the way. Put one hand up on touch your hair. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Uh, but uh, pull, pull a more like s yes, no, no. no. <laughs> Sit up straighter. <gasps> yes. I'm not looking at those, by the way. I'm gonna hide these photos. They burn them. You can keep them, you can do whatever you want with them. I'm not touching them. No. They're not mine. I'm gonna get out of this and put my bra back on. Well, this is my favorite one. That perfectly summarizes how you do it. I feel like stuffing. <laughs> you feel like stuffing. So the one that I'm wearing, uh, I think I am actually going to get rid of this. I really like it. It's cool. It's but cool. Just cause it's cool doesn't mean it needs to stay because I, I feel like I probably I'm not gonna- You're wear. keeping things for a lot less than they're cool. Yeah, but uh, like I'm keeping things that I will wear. Notice a common trend here. Look at the length. <laughs> Look at the situation at the top. Cider store, this, you should watch my cider store video if you haven't seen it yet. This was atrocious. Yeah. This is a Brandy Melville little tiny number. It's very cute, but also I've outgrown this style. I don't mm. wear anything like this anymore. This, mm. I got this as part of another video that I never filmed. This was going to be like, I dressed like Ariana Grande for a week and I got all the stuff from Yes Style. And this was supposed to be like an Ariana Grande dress. Yeah. I never did that video because I was like, who am I kidding? I'll never be her. I won't even try. But I have worn this dress a couple of times. It's pretty cute actually. It's not bad for a Yes Style item. It's quite nice, but I'm not I gonna like, wear it. I don't it. mind it. It's very arty. What about this? Do you Paint mind? it. 
No, that's only because it's not my style though. I can see people. It's very like, uh, very Kingdom Hearts 1. But I haven't mm. worn it in such a long time. Mm. The last time I wore it was this photo here and- Actually, I specifically, it's very Square Enix with all the zippers on them. Square. That's the publisher behind Kingdom Hearts and Final oh, Fantasy. Oh, okay. AliExpress, I haven't worn this in a very long time. Your favorite? I, I got this What kind of milk are you trying to be? A cougar, obviously. Mm. It's from Pretty Little Thing and I got it with the intention of wearing it with a black turtleneck, black boots, a beret, I've never done that. I'm I mean, hearing the word intention might be the key word of this, yeah. of this video. AliExpress, again. Another oh, one that I got no. because I saw some Insta baddies wearing it. It's awful. I've had some really great successes from AliExpress, but this is most certainly not one of them. Look at the embroidery. It's okay. No, no it's, not okay. it's not okay. It's like all sort of wonky. I wore clothes from Fashion Nova for a week as part of a video, and this was a great hit. Lots of people really like it. They really like the look of it. It's very comfortable. It's really pretty. I just More don't wear it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit too... It's too formal. Too formal, I suppose, with all the lace. Oh, this. The periwinkle dress from White Fox. I love this. I love it. But also, just like the one that I'm wearing, as much as I love them, I'm... They're just gonna sit in my closet for a long time. I... This is a maybe, because I... I like it so much. I don't know. I think the short dresses aren't too horrible on you. <sighs> well. Also, it's like good for summer, you know? Yeah, but I mean, I wear sweaters in summer, so. <laughs> on to maybe one of my favorite racks. Okay. You're not gonna do these guys up here? No, they're, they're later. Yeah. Later. Okay. I don't tell, I, I'm, I'm advocating for it now, but you know. Yeah. I can actually do those. That's the halfway mark. So maybe we should stop for a lunch break. Ooh, I'm up for that. I do have a sponsorship to film. Okay. I, I've got to do some HelloFresh. Oh, uh, okay. What do you mean? Oh, okay. I wanted to go out and get something. You're all dressed up. I'll take you out nice. for dinner. I promise HelloFresh is better than anything that we would be eating out, I swear. Tell me, Caitlin, what do you know about HelloFresh? Uh, about four years ago, I could have applied for a job there back when they weren't really in the country and I didn't end up doing it. HelloFresh is a <laughs> subscription meal delivery service that delivers farm fresh ingredients perfectly portioned to your door on a regular basis, whatever interval that you want. You can skip at any time, you can pause, you can change your servings, you can have a two person servings, four person servings, all pre portioned. We'll also mention something portions are massive. My mum actually has used, I could have done a better intro for you, but <laughs> to be honest, I, I just wanted to add that. Um, Your mum's used it? Yeah, she, she's used it. And normally what she does is she'll just get the two portions like serving. Well, uh, we're gonna head downstairs, cook some HelloFresh for lunch. And I also, while I'm cooking, this is going to be my last day eating normal food because for Thriftmas, I'm going to be making a video about only eating food that I've cooked from thrifted cookbooks for, ah. a, for a week. So this is like one of my last nice meals. So I mean, maybe it's nice as long as you don't get a cookbook from like the depression era. You know what? From rations. The, by the look of these cookbooks, that is how old they could possibly be. You'll, you'll see them in a sec. But uh, yeah, let's head downstairs and get cooking. I don't want to wear this dress though while I cook lunch, but you know what I should wear to cook lunch, okay? Eh? I should wear something that I never wear, like the strawberry dress. What? For example. <laughs> or the selkie romance knot. The selkie one. No. No, the strawberry. No. Oh. Yeah, I'll wear the strawberry dress. Do you have an apron or something? I don't need an apron because HelloFresh is pre-portioned ingredients, so I don't even need to like cut them or do anything. Um, cook them? Oil? Splash. Oil? No, no, because I'm gonna do a quick and Can easy. I get you like a towel or something that I can like protect you? Can you zip me up? Please. See, it's not the size that's the problem. It's like, it's, it's it doesn't go over the seam? It, no, yeah, it's like the, it's where the band bit is and the zipper doesn't want to go past it. It's so annoying, like this dress was so expensive. You know, for something that costs so much, you'd think that more thought would be put into this sort of thing. Mm, like they could- hands. It's specifically this bit here. Oh, if we get you into it, I don't know if we're gonna get you out of it. Ah! There we go. Is that it? Yeah, it's in. This thing is so expensive. And it, it's so uncomfortable and it's really itchy and- You couldn't do that with one person either. No, no, you couldn't. And like, it's because the zip is so little because there's all this chul fabric. Yeah, it's all so it, real it close bunches together. bunches close to the zip so yeah. the zip gets stuck in the chul. It needs like a- are you okay? Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Did you hurt yourself? I just pressed in. Is that the fashion police? <laughs> now, while I'm cooking, mm -hmm. I want you mm -hmm. to have a look at these cookbooks that I took from. Hi, Archie. Yeah. Man, she's- Presence be known. 
He's in the workshop, don't mind him. He's, <laughs> He's just tinkering away. Yeah. I spoke to these. This cost, I'm actually excited about this. $120, I think it was, for this box here. So, have a look. It's like covered in mold. It's not, it could be. I don't actually know how old they are, but they look like antiques. <laughs> is that Where's the mold? <laughs> Making me sneeze. Oh, this is just a book on soups. So this, it's called The Kitchen Library, edited by Countess Morphy. Yeah, 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 I gotta show you that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here's a book. Yeah, yeah, recipes, right? Blank page, you get that. Oh, it's a book on soups, great. Oh, it really is a book on soups. It's really, <laughs> it's really a book on soup. Get it, it's soup. I found one for you. Mm -hmm. Lime soup! Yes! Oh my god! This is from my antique! Yes! I'm so excited! I didn't mean to do that! I'm sorry, Countess Morphe, don't haunt me! You've got to do it now! That's volume one mm. you've got there. Yeah, soup. Volume two is fish dishes. Volume. Three is entrees, which in this situation, do you think that that means appetizer or main? Because in America, they call main meals are called entrees. So if you ever go to Hawaii and you sit down at the Cheesecake Factory and you're like, mm, what should we eat for entrees, guys? Oh yeah, can we get this? It'll come out and it's like a four person meal because mm. an entree is a main. Volume four is meat dishes. Did you get a whole set? Volume five, vegetable dishes. And volume six is sweets and puddings. Cute. But yeah, I don't know what, like look at how old it is. Yeah. It's, ob it's obviously very, very, very well, old. Very unwell kept, but it's, <laughs> it's a, from the year 2000. Yeah, someone, someone just spilled like tea, tea on it, a bunch tea. of tea. Yeah, some kid from Tumblr just like brewed tea mm. and dipped their books in it to give it that vibe, you know. Made and printed in Great Britain by Tonbridge Printers Limited. Peach Hall Works, Tonbridge, Kent. No year though. How about while I'm cooking a uh, lunch, if you sit down, can you do a quick Google for me and see what you can find? And I really don't have any idea what I'm gonna be doing in a day when I come to your house. It always ends up way, like, way off track. I could do it, but, whew. So if you can Google the antique cookbooks for me and see how old they are, and if you have a flick through and maybe read out some Fun recipes. That come wine, across. Soup. wine soup. <laughs> All right. So for our lunch today, I'm going to be making us creamy pumpkin ravioli and bacon with mushrooms and sage. This is actually a fresh and fast meal. Box to plate. It's 15 minutes. HelloFresh has a bunch of different meal options. You can do low carb, low cal, pescatarian, vegetarian, quick and easy. So many different options and pick whichever one suits your lifestyle the best. HelloFresh sends all of their ingredients pre-portioned, which means that there's no wastage and all of their packaging is either made from recycled materials or it's been recycled. When you log onto your HelloFresh account, there's over like 40 or 50 different meal options available to you every single week and they're constantly changing. If you guys want to give it a try for yourself, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel14 for 14 free meals and three free gifts. So, uh, while I cook, Caitlin, mm -hmm. how about you come and uh, tell me a little bit about the Countess? Hello, welcome to Impromptu History with Caitlin. Countess Morphy, who actually wasn't a Countess. Actually, wasn't even called Morphe. Her name was uh, Marcel Hanks. Hanks. And she was born in Louisiana to a new woman. Uh, well, she was descended from the Irish. Went to Spain and then went to Louisiana and then went back to Britain. Uh, and she was originally a dance critic. She wrote books on dance. These were written um, between 1935 and 1936. 1935? Yeah. 19, that's almost 100 yeah. years old. Yeah. And she died in 1938. She was born in like in 18... 15, 1857? Wow. Yeah, really did research a lot in the brief period of time. How did you learn? I'm surprised to remember it all, right? That's amazing. Well, um, in the amount of time it took you to give a history lesson, lunch is ready. I hope that's what you were after, Hello yeah. Fresh. The history of Countess Murphy. It smells like uh, garlic bread. Ah, that's because there's garlic paste. Oh. I remember this one time I was cooking at home with like mum. We had dinner, right? And I was like, man, this really smells like garlic bread. And then she kind of looked up and realized she had cooked garlic bread. However, she had left that garlic bread in the oven and it was very much uh, garlic ash. Garlic rock. Garlic rock. <laughs> wasn't, lovely smell, wasn't edible. 
<laughs> so if you guys want to try out HelloFresh for yourself, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code PRETTYPASTEL14 for 14 free meals and free free gifts. So with that, let's get eating and then get back to culling some dresses. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to put another dress on after this. <laughs> yeah, true. I probably mm. shouldn't be eating pasta if I'm about to try on dresses. Ah, you'll be fine. That didn't even take 15 minutes. Okay. I better not spill anything on the strawberry dress. Yum. Mm. Sounds wobbly. So good. I wish it was like really, really cold. Like that would be really nice. Oh, like, you're like me. I like leftovers more than I like the fresh Oh, thing. no, I mean like environmentally oh. cold. Oh, this is warm. Right. Yeah. I yeah. like pizza cold though. Yeah, same. I like pasta cold as well. I yeah. would like put pasta in the fridge, yeah. let it go stone cold, let the cream and mm. everything solidify Ooh. and eat it cold out of the fridge. I'm like, yes. And then it's like jelly. No, that doesn't happen if it doesn't have like fat. Mm. It doesn't go gelatinous. If you guys are interested in seeing me only eat food from the hundred year old cookbooks for a week, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because I'm going to start this like as of tomorrow morning, I'm going to start. So we're going to go through and we're going to find some recipes. Uh, page 157. Of, of Of any of these. 157. Yep. Uh, the second one, so right hand page, second one for the top. I have no idea what it is. I just want to know what it is. It doesn't go up to 100. Mm, 73. It, if it doesn't go up to 150, it doesn't no, no, go sorry, up to 73. 100. There's 73. <laughs> I didn't say that. 73? 73. Gravy okay. soup. Giblet soup. Oh. That's a giblet. Giblet soup. Two sets of goose giblets, oh. or three of chicken or duck game stock, one stick of celery, thyme, parsley, marjoram, bay leaf, flour, butter, sherry, salt, and peppercorns, a pinch of allspice, rice, huh. or macaroni. I could do that. I don't know what a giblet is, but I don't think I want to know. Where, where was wine soup? Do you remember? Oh, like at the very, very end. At the very end? Yeah. Wine soup! Ingredients, one pint of white wine, one pint of water, two whole eggs, four tablespoons of sugar, more like a, one like, stick like a, of cinnamon. This sounds like a, like a cocktail. Powdered cinnamon, one strip of lemon peel, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour. Method, put the butter in a saucepan and when melted, add the flour and stir till the mixture is slightly yellow. Add the boiling water gradually, and the wine, cinnamon, lemon peel, and two tablespoons of sugar. Stir continuously, but without boiling. Remove the stick of cinnamon and the lemon peel, and add the yolks of egg, diluted with a little of the hot soup. It's a hot soup. Oh. Beat the whites to a very shush, stiff shush, shush. broth, <laughs> froth, with two tablespoons of sugar, and drop a tablespoon at a time of the mixture in the hot soup, Sprinkling each with grated cinnamon and sugar. Wine soup! <laughs> I only ate wine soup for a week and this is what happened. Okay, we're back from our intermission and we're ready to tackle the next half of the clothing. I got this off ASOS like in the early days of my channel and I've worn this to a couple of events and I really, really like it. And this is a maybe for me because I don't imagine myself wearing it that much anymore but I really love it. It's one of those like statement kind of things that I really like having, so undecided. This one, White Fox, you said to me when you saw this. I can't see you wearing it. But I did wear it. I wore this in my um, I Cut My Own Wolf Cut video and people were like, your top is so cool because they could only see me from like here up mm. and they thought it was a top. And actually I, I will wear it with like a skirt over the top or like jeans or something. Uh, like a, like a and the corset. top part is really cool. I wear it like a corset and mm. I, I do really like this one so that can stay. I thrifted this. This is made in Korea. I feel this is very heavy, like oh. really super solid. It's yeah, very cute. Right. I might hang on to it just for thriftmas because for this entire month, I'm only going to be wearing thrifted clothing. So I'll keep some of these thrifted things. And I might. Um, I don't know. You you could get rid of them now anyway because. You have a lot of lovely things. You could use this as an excuse to just wear something lovely for a day. I thrifted this years ago and as simple as it is, this is, oh look, this is something outside of YouTube. This is a, one of the, what, one of like three things we've seen so far that has not been part of my- Use like, your words, Alex. My <laughs> pre-YouTube days, I purchased this from a thrift store in like 2012 and I've had it ever since and I love it. This is from Shein. I love this. This was going to be a hard rack to, work on because I love almost See, why would you, it. but then why would you keep that one? Like, where would this, you? This yeah. one is, it's so, it's like a, it's a cool. gladiator goddess. I am Yeah, one but it's like, it's almost too fashion-y. Like, it's almost too much. I am worthy of 
fashion-y <laughs> clothes. I thrifted this. That's from Boohoo. And I love this so much. As much as I like it, it's very plunging in the neckline. Oh, it is. Yeah. No, I'm going to get rid of this actually. Ooh. That just reminded me of how every time I've worn it, because I've worn it a lot since I got it last year. Every mm. time I've worn it, I've shown someone a t like at some point. Oh, boy. This is from Yes Style. It's covered in snowflakes and it feels very Christmassy, but the problem is Christmas is hot in Australia. So what are you pulling that face for? Vile. What about this? Is this vile? Well, no, actually, that, that one actually sits on you quite nicely, though, isn't it? It does, It yes. looks vile here, but it actually sits quite nice on you. I really like this. This is Alice and Olivia. It's a design yeah. brand. That was an expensive dress, and it's so pretty. This can go. This is another... One from that terrible Yes Style video where See, everything I, was bad. Yeah, when I was looking through them, I was like, I don't like it, I don't like it. And then I saw the cat and went, I kind of like Look at, it. Look really? At the the cat makes you like it? Well, it's little baby. He's terrified. Look how angry he is. Yes, is. isn't he a beautiful little kitty? The cider? Yeah. Terrible. There were two things in the cider video that I hated. This is one of them. It fits so terribly. These. How do you say that, by the way? How the do rabbits I? of... Rabbits of... And... Tick... Antiqui Garrett. Yeah. Antiqui Garrett? I, I don't know. This is from Japan. It's got mm. little bunny ears on the back of it. <laughs> no, I kind of like that. That's that. Sorry. That I did this. That's the face of, uh, I like that. <laughs> oh, I see. So I'm not going to keep this. Someone's no. going to love this. This is really expensive in Japan. It, like, it's made it's really very nicely. sweet. The brand is Amavel. Amavel? This one. I know you don't like this. You said schoolgirl. Yeah. I've worn this a few times. Uh, it's beautiful. I will sell this one. On nah, do you remember what we used to call our old like high school uniforms? What we used to call them? Yeah, potato, potato sacks. sacks. Yeah, yeah. That's the same. That's the same silhouette as that. Dolls kill. I am getting rid of everything I own from Dolls Kill. I can go into in depth in a video about that in the future, but that's gone. I mean, I'm happy about that. It doesn't look that great anymore. Yes style, this is from that video where it got demonetized, so I got Sam to wear all of the dresses. Mm, and the he cursed did content. Not get, yep, the, the cursed content. It's actually quite it's a nice quite dress. sweet. But I've got enough nice dresses. This, she and I really like it, but again, I feel like I'm moving away from these styles. Or if I'm doing the styles with the sleeves, I would want them to be longer. Shein, again, from our video together. Mm. I, I'm not gonna wear that. This is one of the most highly reviewed dresses on Yes Style. A lot of people really, really like it. So I'm gonna sell this and I know someone's gonna buy it for sure. This is Faithful the brand. It's a designer brand. This was quite an expensive dress as part of my designer clothes from the Iconic, I think it was. I love this. You know, it's funny because to me, <laughs> Yes, these are quite similar, right? I'm much more comfortable wearing this one than I am wearing this one because this one's it's tight around the tummy. This is like loose and flowy at the bottom. I thrifted this and I haven't worn it since my trip to Mudgy. People really liked it, but it's so short on me. And when I watched the footage back of myself walking into the vineyard and I'm walking in, you, you can see my butt. Like, you, it's just right there. I don't know why Dan didn't tell me. So, no, he enjoyed the view. That's why. This is a dress from Doll's Kill. Again, I, I have loved some of these pieces from Dolls Kill, but I don't support the brand. So I'm going to sell it because there's still a lot of people that buy Dolls Kill, but they don't want to buy from the brand because yeah. they don't want to give them money. So if I put that on Depop, someone's going to buy it and love it. This from my Princess Polly video. Yeah. I really like this, but also there's a blue version of this that next time Princess Polly wants to sponsor one of my videos, I'll get the blue one because I feel like I'm much more likely to wear the blue one than the orange one. Dolls Kill. <laughs> I wore this in Hawaii. <laughs> this is the... This is the only thing I took with me to Hawaii. I went, it was like a challenge where I went to Hawaii wearing that. My suitcase was empty. I went to Walmart and I bought a week's worth of clothing. Oh, I thought you were like gonna say, I wore one thing the entire day. I'm like, how I mean, stinky would that be? I've done that before, but yeah, that's cause it's Dolls Kill, it's gotta go. This thrifted in Japan. Very cute. Someone's going to adore this. Isn't it, what do you think? You no, know, I don't actually mind that one that much. You don't mind it? Kind of Someone's made a deliberate fashion tr attempt. It's it's busy. the final rack now. Ooh, okay, now, now it's the fancy stuff. You don't need to me. This is from the brand Lily Silk, and Caitlin picked this up and she was like, oh, this is so nice. It is. Lily Silk is a company that asked to sponsor one of my videos, and I was like, oh, if you send me some of your pieces, I'll see what I think, and if I like them, I will accept your sponsorship. So I really like their stuff. They've got silk pillowcases that I've been sleeping on for a couple of months now, and 
they sent like clothes and a blouse and a dress and, and I really like it. So yeah. later down the track, you guys will see me do a sponsorship for like, Lily it Silk. It feels as soft as it looks. Like, it's 100% ooh. silk and it's made really nicely and I'm very excited to work with this brand. This was the sheer yeah. dupe yeah. of the House of CB clothing. I have the original, so that can go. Is it in blue though? Uh, no, I've got a pink one. No, let it go. No, I'm making a joke. Oh, yes style dupe of House of CB. So look at the print. Look, look at the, the the little flowers that you said that you hate. Yeah. Now that's from Yes Style. And then if you look at what they copied, see the print? Mm. See, it's the same flowers and everything. Yeah, so it's pretty close. Yes Style has copied House of CB, or it's not Yes Style themselves that have done it. It's one of the, the brands that Yes Style distributes. Mm. It's a copy, and because I have a few of the original from House of CB, I, I don't need the copy. I got it for free from Yes Style, so that can go. This is House of CB, and this is one of my all-time favorite dresses. I'm gonna put this on, actually, because I like this so much. All right. Ooh. Oh, look at her go. Look at that, pretty as a picture. My favorite, no. my favorite. The strawberry dress is staying for now because Caitlin and I are making a video. I bought Caitlin the strawberry dress. I have it here. Uh, I won't let you leave with it today, though, because <laughs> it, that's for post thriftmas because it's, it's not thrifted. Yes, it's cute, it's pretty. It's awful. It's so uncomfortable. I hate it so much. <laughs> this, on the other hand, I, I don't have many opportunities to wear this dress. I wore it out to... Dan and I went to a really fancy restaurant, uh, like a really expensive Japanese restaurant in the city, and I wore this there. And I've worn it to one other fancy restaurant. This is like my fancy restaurant yeah. dress. Yeah. I love it. It's very cute. House of CB is one of my top 10 brands, without a doubt. Also, House of CB... Actually, the easiest thing to do here, this is the, I'm keeping everything rack. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of a single thing from this rack, so I may, I may as well just show you the things, but this is a keep rack, okay? <laughs> yeah. Little House of CD dress. I love it. The same The long print, one. But the long version. I haven't worn this yet because this arrived to me during lockdown and I haven't been able to go out and wear it, but mm. I, I will, as soon as I can get out there, I will. This, you guys would have seen me wear this. I I wore this out to the doctor. Uh, what? The first time that I left the house, like lockdown, yeah. June, July, August, in sometime late August or early September was the very first time I stepped foot off my driveway yeah. to go to the doctor. And I was like, this is a big occasion. I'm leaving for the first time in months. I want to wear something nice. And I wore this. <laughs> And I got someone in the comments and they're like, what a pathetic human oh. wearing a nice dress to the doctor. Get over yourself, you slag. Why are people- They just don't have any nice dresses. This one equally as pretty as the one that I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, maybe I should put this on. It reminds me of like an expensive dessert. <laughs> yeah. I've tried my best not to show all the shoes on the ground. Oh, but there's a ton of them. Under. Like if she needs to, to yeet me geet something, it might be these. If you yeet me geet them, I can take them because yeah. I'm your size in feet. Exactly. I can't take any of these babies, but I can take those. The dress that I'm wearing, another House of CB one that I... It's, it's, it's cool. You it's like, nice. Is this acceptable, Caitlin? Like I said, it reminds me of like a dessert. Again, House of CB. This style, this is the Tallulah dress and it's just, oh, it's puffy sleeves. I love it. Uh, there's the same dress in, I, I got the same dress in every color. There's one that I'm waiting to come back in stock and it's like white and blue. This dress, the, I think this is the Alice dress by House of CB, got it in white, which is actually, look, that's Yes Style, that's House of CB. I don't know about on camera, tell me in the comments below guys, do you think just by looking at it, can you tell which is the cheap one? By touching it, you, there's no comparison whatsoever. This is a single, oh, a oh, single yeah. layer of fabric, a very thin fabric. This is heavy and it's got multiple layers. It's got like, you know, what do you, what do you call it when there's a thing on the inside? That's lining. Lining. Yeah. I've got my black dresses from House of CB. As you can see, there haven't been very many black dresses. That stays. And this one, not that I ever wear it, but this is one that if I get the opportunity, I want this in my Ooh. closet to wear it. Look, it's got this really dramatic plunging neckline and you just feel like a Bond girl wearing this. It's Oh, it's so good. And pick this up. Black Milk. You guys have been asking me to review Black Milk for ages. I bought these dresses. I've worn this one and I've I got a really terrible stain on this, something like a wine stain. And Dan worked on it for ages with the stain remover trying to get mm, fix it for me. It's got material patterns, you can't tell. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but this one, I'm gonna sell this one and I'll show you why. I'll go put this on. Do you see why I don't like it? 
Like, can you don't you... like that it's so like tight the waist, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, m the narrowest point of my waist is down here. So for this thing to be here, like if I you could untie the ties at the top, but then you're also bringing the chest line down as well. So if I sit the waistline where I want the waistline, the chest. Mm. <laughs> I bought these outside of YouTube. These are two more garments that I did not buy for the purpose of YouTube or for the purpose of content. I wasn't given them. I spent my money on these just mm. to own them. So that, that's one of the very few things. That <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't spend your money on things because you get that. Yeah. This one, however, I quite like this one. And this if you're interested in that particular silhouette, you can also get it with a jiggly buff pattern on it. What? Really? Yeah. This one? Yeah, exactly. I was looking at it potentially. I went. I looked at the Black Milk website, and there was some things I was interested in, but and because they don't generally leave their comfort wheelhouse, they kind of just do the same they pattern over exactly and over again in different licenses. Yeah. Sometimes they do really cool things. They had a blazer that I was like kind of half keen on, and it had like ghost Pokemon on the inside, and I was like, that's kind of like that's cool. cool. Yeah. See if you can help me find the stain, because there is a terrible stain. You really want to find it, huh? Well, the. Well, but the thing was, oh, I, I didn't wear it for a really long time because I was like, oh no, the stain. Is it and now I'm like, I, I don't know if the stain is gone or if it's been, I mean, like if it's just disappeared. Look. <laughs> look at it, look at it. Please not fall over. So easily in news. Ah! Oh God, shit. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't, should not have done Spun. that. Spun. Should not have done that. All right, how about, okay, here you go. I'm going to be the rest of them and okay. you can sit down. <sighs> okay, Alex. 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 So here we have, that's a beautiful black dress. It's worth $700. Um, it's very heavy. How did you know? Is it? Uh, it is. It, this is the Scanlon Theodore. Oh, you're being me, are you? Yes, I love it. Um, I can't wait to wear it. It's very heavy. Uh, it's very long as well, so I also like that. It's very accentuating. It's also very elasticy. so I eat a, if I eat a lot of food, uh, I'll feel great. I think I need to try that one on because it's brand new with tag, Scandal Theodore. Very interesting. This is too. the sort of thing. Oh, I, it's tiny. I purchased this. This is another thing I've purchased outside of YouTube. This is I purchased for myself, for work, things like that. And uh, there were two from this particular collection that I really liked. And I thought, I'll get them both. I'll try and I'll keep the one that I like. So maybe you can help me decide. Can okay? I wear it? You want to wear it? I can't wear it. Okay. No, actually, no. If, what if I bust the waistline? I'm not doing that to that. Okay. No, 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 no. While I put this on, you can, uh, there should be another one, like, that you can... I'll just seduce the audience. Wait, no, is that how you wear it? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are so demonetized. This time you can't even feel bad for yourself. You did this on purpose. <laughs> See, I hear the word Scanlon, and all I think of is, uh, little bars of mummy issues. Scanlon Theodore is an Australian designer that is some of... If not, I would argue the nicest Wait, clothing. Wait, you really do wear it like that? Yeah. Well, I thought it was the other way front. I thought that was the back. No, no, no this is the front. <laughs> Hang oh, on, let me shoes. let me put on a pair of shoes. I thought for certain you were wearing it that way as, a, as like a folly. It feels weird to be like, are you yeeting this or keeping it? Because obviously you're keeping it because it's the rack. But part of me is kind of like, how do you sell it on Depop and feel like you got your money's worth? No, I wouldn't. I mean, unless, if you, if you want to leave a comment below and say, hey, I'm going to pay six hundred dollars for i literally would not want to sell this for less than i paid for it or i would only sell it for like marginally less just for, purely for the fact that yeah. it's not brand new this is the first one this is how it looks and then the second one which is technically not brand new because i did wear this so this is a dress option two from scanlon theodore what do you you've seen me wearing both what do you what do you think i don't know I liked this one more too, mm -hmm. so I should sell that one. Yeah, that other one kind of feels like a, I'm not going to say a mistake. When it has that kind of like scrunchy thing, it's now competing with a lot of other dresses that have the scrunchy thing because it's trendy. Because the trendiness kind of cheapens it, uh, right? Whereas that, that one's like running its own race. There's no comparison to it right now. So it's like, okay, yeah, I can see why you'd spend money on that when it's more unique. This Nicola Fanetti dress. Not a wedding dress. Not a wedding dress. 620. This is another like luxury spend for me. This was part of a Honey sponsorship. So <laughs> I, Honey paid me and then I did like a shopping spree. It's really cool and I really, really like it. It's and like I, a plimlum top and a fishtail had uh, this. A what, what? It's a plimlum? Plimlum. Peplum. Peplum. Pe plimlum. <laughs> this is definitely something my mum would wear. Do you want to tell the audience about it? Hi, this is something my mum would wear. Um, it's technically, it is Calvin Klein. You should put that on. Da, da, da. 
Da. I can look like my mum. This is my Nicola Finetti dress that I got from the Iconic as part of that Honey sponsorship and I really love it. This is like a going to the races kind of dress to me. I want to keep this one. I don't get wedding vibes from this. I get like... Oh, you're right. Oh, wow! No, I don't like this. You look really pretty! I don't like it. You don't like it? Nah, it's mum. These colours look really mom nice. Mum vibes. Mum vibes? Strong, strong. I have no idea what I look like. Oh, I hate it. You hate it? I like the colours. I feel like a latte. But aside <laughs> from that, it's just the neckline that I hate immensely. Ugh. Down to our last two, two dresses. We've got the Lickety Split Rinse mm. Gown by Selkie. I love this. Uh, have yet to wear it because I've been hiding in this house for months and I've had nowhere to wear this, but next time I host an event, I want to wear a Selkie gown. When I take this off, you should try to put this on because this is too big for me. I should mention I like Selkie dresses. I think they're really, really pretty. I want whatever I wear to spend that much money on to be like a statement. Yep. You know, I want to be comfortable, but also stick. No, look at her. Look how pretty she is. It is falling down a little bit. On if you, you want yeah. to hear the criticism about the sizing, check out my selfie video because I go into a bit of depth about what happened. Because I thought that I bought the right size, but it, it's not quite right. So my predicament with this one is, do I sell you need, this? Need like tape or something to hold it up. Do I sell it and just buy it again because I want this dress? Hey, if it fits me, just give. You can have it and then I can buy it again off Selkie, but Selkie only make limited quantities of their clothes. Yeah. And I had to wait for months on a waiting list to get this dress. Mm -hmm. So do I just get this one altered? I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to alter it. You're just taking away fabric, honestly. It's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Oh, it's so cute. I love Selkie. Oh. All right, so okay, I'm going to try on little, little cowgirl, the little romance little novel, and uh, you try this one. My favorite dress I own, the romance novel by Selkie. This is just a delightful dress in every single regard. It's so beautiful and it's made so well and it's so long and flowy and romantic. I see why it's called the romance novel because it's the most romantic dress I've ever seen. I'm hanging on to this one. Have not worn it out in public yet, but I will. I swear to God, the moment I get an opportunity and I feel like the opportunity to wear something like this is, I would say a wedding, but I kind of feel like it's too over the top for a wedding. This would be like, a special occasion. Maybe if I went to a movie premiere or something. I'm not gonna go to Woolworths. This is not <gasps> fit me. Oh! This is a butt. Hello, dear. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? No, I haven't. Look at yourself. Look, look. Aw, she's a sweetheart. I'm a little, I'm a little sweetheart. You look amazing. We have to get you one of those. <laughs> We have to! We've got to get you a selkie dress. Yeah. Whether it's that one, that it comes in all different colours. Well, we should get you a blue selkie dress. Blues. You need a blue one. Blue one. Yeah, Come yeah. stand with me. Hello. Hello. Hi. We look so cute. You know what? we got to get us get selkie dresses each. Go out to a park and have a picnic and like feed each other strawberries. Oh, we still have to do that one. Yeah, the strawberry dress. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you guys want to see Caitlin and I do a selkie haul, Leave it in the comments down below. Ooh. Honey will probably sponsor it if I ask them to. Honey's always super Please, important. Please, honey. Yeah, please, honey, I want to buy Selkie, please. These are both staying. Leave a comment down below and tell me between the two Selkie dresses, which dress you like more. You know what? You being a voluptuous, beautiful woman, it looks much better on you. Like it looks, you are the figure that this is made for. I wish I could zip it up because then I could actually give my ribs some more support. Because right, right now they're falling down because this can't zip up. Because you've got this, you've got this beautiful shape and you just look so, you look like a renaissance goddess. Like literally, you, touch my finger. I've been told that before. Actually, do you want to lose your brain? Yeah. I'm... Hello. I'm here, I'm awaiting marriage. Do you have a squire for me to marry? You look so beautiful. My name is uh, Countess uh, uh, Marie. Hello, Marie, my little name. Hello. You look amazing. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> you're so beautiful. What the? <laughs> Great. You, you like you come in here with your like boo t-shirt and your hair tied back, and you're like, show me some fashion, mate. That's the con, right? And now look you at come, you. You come in there looking like a squalor, and then you put on a one nice dress, and you're like, yes. Give me your life. This is like the Princess Diaries. You're oh, Anne Hathaway and I'm Meryl Streep. I'm a bad walking teen rom-con movie, right? Because they pick like, oh, she's a nerd, she's horrible, but all she has is like glasses and her hair's up. <laughs> and they're like, oh, makeup scene, like makeover. And all she does is take her hair out and take the glasses off. It's like, oh, she's stunning, oh my God. That's it. <laughs> I'm a cliche, I'm a walking cliche. I even still have my jeans on. And <laughs> See you next
next time. <laughs> no. no, no, we're not done. No, we're not done. No, because I, I'm not. I haven't had enough of you in this dress. So now that I've gone through all of my dresses mm. and I've seen everything, yes. I feel like I'm actually gonna more easily delete some stuff I kept because <laughs> I've seen everything. So I need to put these on. This one is a maybe, and I don't. I don't know. What do you think? I'm obviously not wearing a bra, so I would on. say now that you're that brown white fox one, I think that one would fill the gap that this one has, and I think I like the brown white fox one more. Okay, alright, thank you. Alright, so, for this one, ah, uh, see I, I, I love turtlenecks, and I'm becoming more comfortable with my arms, and when I had red hair, and I was wearing this into the office and stuff, I was like carrying a Louis Vuitton Go keyboard. Forward, forward, forward. I was like, look at me, I'm business chic. Like, yeah, see imagine me with my red hair again. <laughs> This is the look I can imagine. This is what I would look like if I had my natural red hair again. <laughs> I'm more curious what season you wear it. That's the funny thing because it's made of it's literally like really thick knitted wool. Yeah, it it's would be hot. hot. But then your arms are just like, hello, it's cold. Which is the main reason that I stopped wearing it. Do I get rid of it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You look cool. It's so cool. It's like a Hollywood chic. I've worn this now to like three events mm. and it's like, okay, so when I go to events, if it's like an evening sleek event, I wear this. Or if it's like a fun, like glamorous Whoa. kind of thing, I can wear this. So, you know, so this one I, I do, I really want to keep it. And a fantastic thrift find. Ooh, it was thrifted. It thrifted. <laughs> Lifeline at Castle Hill in Thriftmas last year. This one? I hate it. <laughs> Why? One, it's short. You've been saying this whole time you hate short dresses. I do. I like the color, right? But it really comes off like aqua Barbie doll era. Like, I would eat that so hard. Okay. My Hello Kitty dress. I also hate that. You hate it? Yeah. Oh, I love this. I know it's fashion, but also. I just I love it because I love Hello Kitty and I love the novelty of it and. Another one that I would wear to, a, I'd wear this to a party, like a New Year's Eve party or something. Yeah. If New Year's Eve in Australia wasn't 35 degrees Celsius, yeah, like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, yeah. I would wear this to a New Year's Eve party. Yeah. If I go to America one day or England or something, I, I can take this as a New Year's Eve outfit. How, how sad is that? Like, I can only wear this when I'm at the other side of the hemisphere. But literally, I could go to oh, Japan. Or you just... You go to Japan for New Year's Eve. I don't Sometime. Think you can. Not yet, this I mean like in 10 years or something. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I will still have this by then because I'll never get rid of this. It means a lot to me. Two racks of keep and two racks of donate. I feel like if I was going to be really strict, I would remove this. Might remove this. I think I'll remove the kitten demoe dress. Wee mm. wee. Oui, oui. That is the most concentrated wee wee I've, I've heard. Wee wee wee. Frowning in your wee wee wee. Wee wee wee. I think I'm happy with keeping that the way it is. Yeah. You've done well. I mean, I think you've done a very significant uh, culling. Thank you. Can you pick out something for me to wear for the outro? Oh, jeez. Um, something you like or something you don't? Maybe pick out something from the donate pile that is the last time I'll ever wear it. Well, you could do this. As long as you don't bend over, you're fine. All right, well. That's it, that's everything. Uh, this is the donate side or the sell on Depop side and this is the side that currently I'm thinking of keeping but with Thriftmas coming up and some new items making their way into my wardrobe, I have a sneaking suspicion that some more of these things are going to end up on this side. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you for your help. It's I fun. couldn't have done it without you. It's fun. I'm going to be sending the items live on Depop on the 6th of December. Then I'm going to start shipping the stuff out from the 13th of December. Anyway, so. that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.